This tutorial is designed to show you how to create a blog in Blackboard 9. We'll cover creating a blog, different types of blogs, and then grading a blog. So the first thing you want to do is either go to the tool area and click on blog, or go to a content area like assignments and create a blog there. You can do so by going over to add interactive tool and go down to blog. You can create a link to the blog page which will basically take you to the tools blog area or you can create a, log, a, a link to, directly to a, a blog. So we're going to create a new blog and I will call it introductions and maybe I want to use this blog to have students introduce themselves so um, please So students will create a, um, an entry in this blog and then stu other students will be allowed to um, comment on those entries. So I'm going to make the blog available. I want to keep it available for the whole semester. Um, I don't want anonymous comments so I'm going to click this off and then um, if I'm going to grade this I'm going to put click on grade and put the possible points and maybe I'm going to give five points for an introduction. And then I'm going to hit submit. Now what this allows me to do is it allows me to click, create a link to this introduction blog. When I click next, I can then give some options on what I want them to do when they go into this blog. Okay, so I may say um, create a, I may say something like create your um, introduction and then comment on at least one of their students' submission. And then when students, when they go in, if a student goes into this area, this assignment area. Um, they'll see this introduction blog and they can actually go in and it tells them what they're supposed to do so they can create a blog entry and they can say test student and and then when they post their entry um, you as a faculty member or other students or themselves they can go in and comment by clicking on the comment tab right here and you'll see when I go into this blog um, I can see that one student has created one and when I click on this I can actually see their entry and then I can make comments on it just like other students. Okay, So I can say hi back. I can also in grading this I can click edit grade and I can actually put in the number of points that the student earned on this blog and I can save that grade. The other type of blog entry that's possible is when you create a new blog I'm going to create a new blog here um, I can actually have students um, have a course blog where every time someone makes an entry it just lines it up not per student you can still select on the individual students but this is just a blog that um, when you enter it you can see all the links in one continuous um, entry. So that is the tutorial on blogs. Thanks for watching.